Woo! What's popping off, fellas? All right. It's 8 p.m. We're cruising on Zwift. I need to spin slower. And, whoa, oh, this is hard to do when you're working out. All right, for today's video, we are doing a Q&A while riding on Zwift. So you guys asked me a long time ago on Instagram some questions. I'm already sweating so much. Today we're gonna go through those questions. I'll give you guys today's workout too. Today's workout is on the left side of the screen. Okay. Oh no, I'm not gonna stay fast enough. What's the most intimidating part of tri training? Okay, so for me, the most intimidating part is getting confident on the bike. I am not. I'm getting there. And the fact that the bike makes up a huge portion of the triathlon just makes it really important. And since it's my thing, the thing I'm least familiar with, it's gonna be the hardest. Also, doing the transitions. I can tell you right now, if I went to a transition area, it would be a mess. Was it an easy transition from just running to doing triathlons? I'm really glad that last year I did the marathon training and I was cycling during that. It helped me a lot prepare for the volume. I think it was a very good transition. Like, even though I don't see myself becoming a marathoner, it was a super great way to transition into endurance sport and just getting used to going on two hour bikes into 30 minute runs. I honestly wouldn't say it's been that hard for me. How do I get into swimming even when the pools are closed? Well, the pools are still closed for me right now. I've been swimming open water in the river. Now that it's getting colder though, it's a little harder. I bought stretch cords from Finise. Can't say I've used them very much. So the swimming has been on the back burner until the pool's open again, which I think they're starting to. So <laughs> honestly, I think it's just a waiting game. When will you get on Zwift? I'm on it, baby. I'm on it right now, as you can see. Do you think that you have to be good at all the events to succeed in triathlon? Good question. You have to be decent at them all. You don't have to be amazing at any of them. But if you're pretty good at all of them, you're going to do well. Most people usually have at least one strong point. For me, it's going to be the running, I think. <laughs> um, so it's nice to have a background in one of them, which I feel like most people do, but you need to be decent at all of them. How do you fix a flat during your ride? Well, I have uh, a lot of experience on this one, but watching YouTube videos and practicing. So when you get a flat on a ride, pull up that YouTube video and start practicing. I am not gonna teach anyone because I barely know how to do it myself. Someone asked if I'm swimming in the river and is that safe? I only go open water swimming with other people. It's really not safe to do that alone. I also have a buoy on, like it floats behind me in the water so that boats can see me. And yeah, I'll always go with someone else. Will you ever do an Ironman? I get this question every day. Honestly, yes, probably. I said once before that I would also do a marathon one day. And what do you know? That's already happened. I'm <laughs> only 24. So an Ironman, yes, I'll probably do one. Is it going to be one of the first things I do? No, absolutely not. What distance am I wanting to do? Great question. So, the distance I'm planning on doing, I've already answered this a couple times, but the sprint and Olympic distance are the two I'm gonna be focusing on right now. ITU racing scares me. That's what my sister was going into. And that's like the Olympic path. And I'm just not, I'm not in good enough shape right now to go that path. Like, you have to be able to basically break 17 in the 5K, and although I probably did that back in the day at some point, um, I'm just not there right now. And 
it's just a lot more intense and I'm easing my way into it. I'll probably do some ITU races, but starting off with the sprint and Olympic distance. Advice on finding a coach and getting into swimming as a beginner. Okay, so I'm not the best person to go to for advice for beginner swimmers just because I was thrown in the pool when I was four and have been swimming since then. So I, like as an adult, I don't know how to learn how to swim. I honestly, I don't even know where to begin with that. Like, people have done it. I think it's just going to the pool and practicing. I did a podcast with Colleen Quigley a couple weeks ago, and she learned to swim as an adult. And she basically just went to the pool, started swimming laps, asked the lifeguard to help like her form, and it was just consistent, like consistently going to the pool and trying. In terms of finding a coach, I always recommend a local one because that way they can see you in person and you can like, get feedback from them. So I found my coach online. It's the Chris Bag Coaching Group. They're pretty well known in the, in the triathlon world, but they're based in Portland. So that's nice. What is my favorite of the three events to train? You know, in the past I would have said running, but right now it's biking. Like, it's been fun to get back into running. My my pace is definitely going down, getting faster, I mean. Um, and I'm getting back into workouts again. Six minute pace does not feel easy anymore. Um, but biking has been really fun just because it's so new to me. It's fun to learn something new and it's a different kind of pain, man. What brand of bike do I have? I have a Cervelo Soloist. It's from 2005 or 2006. It's very old. It's aluminum. It's heavy. <laughs> And I'm going to get a new bike one day, but biking is an extremely expensive sport. I am currently riding on a $1,200 trainer, which has sucked a lot of money from my wallet, but I'm saving up for a new bike, probably in the new year. A time trial bike. Is it fun? <laughs> yes or no? Um, I'm enjoying it a lot. I find it to be really fun. It's fun just challenging yourself to something new. Do you do strength work? So. I'm definitely getting back into doing strength work. For the first like couple months, it's just been hip strength and core exercises. But I'm gonna start getting back in the gym now, which is nice. But yeah, right now it's just been accessory work, which my hips are always weak and tight. They've never been strong, so. Do you have a straw that I can follow? Yes. Um, I'll link it in the description. What's been your biggest triathlon training mistake so far? Good question. I think I just underestimated how expensive it is. Um, like I do fairly well for myself being self-employed, but with the added cost of bike equipment and like everything else, mainly the bike, it's just really expensive. That's why you see a lot of older people doing triathlons and not recent college grads or even 20 something year olds. It's an expensive sport. The equipment is. All right, let's answer one more question because my camera's gonna die. Who is my triathlon inspiration? So, I have a couple. Um, I find Lucy Charles to be super motivating, probably just because she has a YouTube channel and I follow it actively. Um, yeah, I think, I think her mainly. I like her content a lot. Lionel Sanders is also an extremely talented triathlete, Iron Man, and he puts out great content. Shout out Talbot. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just super cool to see people working really hard, and I want to get there one day. <laughs> um, yeah, but all right, I'm gonna close out this video. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for watching this sweaty Q and A. If you want more running content, check out my podcast, Convos Over Cold Brew. Follow me on Instagram and Strava. Like the video. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Peace out, fellas.